Hey guys, Leo with Dreaming Tree, and I wanted to go over something I discovered today in Design Space. A lot of you have been reporting recently that you're having issues using the contour feature. Uh, things are acting wonky, and it's not really contouring, or if, when you go to cut, uh, it's kind of holding on to old data and just not making the changes that you are asking for. So what I actually discovered was, and let me just show you here what, what I mean. I'm gonna bring in a file here. Uh, this is from our winter explosion box. It's this little guy here. And the file that I'm gonna be working with is one of the files that contains the main structural elements uh, for the actual house that goes inside of the explosion box. And what I wanna do is remove some of the elements here uh, just in case. So I'm using this as a demonstration because many of you contact us and say, hey, um, I messed up a cut or I'm trying to move this or I'm trying to save paper. Here's what we typically recommend. We typically recommend that you right click and ungroup the file. And what that does is it takes and it separates and it frees up the score lines from the actual cut. Okay, and then what I typically do Let's just say I want to keep this top layer here, just this top main element. I want to get rid of all of these. What I'll typically do is I will hide the score marks first. Actually, no, I'm sorry. I'm going to get rid of the score marks first. So we're going to click on the main cut, which is this one here. You'll notice that if I turn off this layer here, it hides the score marks. If I turn this one off, it hides the cut. Okay, so I wanna work with the score lines first. I, wanna, I need to get rid of these score marks down here. So I'm gonna hide the main cut. Now I'm gonna highlight just the score lines right here under layers. I don't wanna touch anything here in case I move it. If you move it, then the score lines might uh, get out of place. And when you go to cut it, it's not gonna cut properly with the score lines. They might be kind of moved over and not score properly. So now that I have the score lines selected, I'm gonna go under contour. And this is what's been happening. When I zoom in on these score lines, and I'm gonna go up here on the top left corner that's actually visible. I'm gonna find that here. You notice if I click on it, nothing happens. Okay, usually they'll disappear. And they're not, okay? Uh, another thing that's happening is, let me go back here and turn this layer on. I'll turn this layer off. I'm gonna contour out the main cut section. And let's say I get rid of this. I'm just gonna get rid of these. This is still working, but when I go off of this, it won't let me move it anymore. It's as if this stuff is still here. Okay, so something's wonky. It's some kind of a bug. Um, and a way around this right now is to go up to your menu, your main menu here, up at the top right, and go to settings. And under general and application experience, we're gonna click on beta. We're gonna hit done, and it's gonna install any updates that it needs to. So mine already installed the updates, which is why it's happening so quick. Yours may have to actually download an update, and then it will relaunch at the current version. Okay, let me put this back on my screen here so you can see it. And let's reload a fresh version of this. And there it is. So again, I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna ungroup. Uh, there's an old stray element there. And again, I'm gonna hide the main cut layer. I'm gonna highlight just the score lines. I'm gonna go down to contour. We'll zoom in. I wanna get rid of these. And it's working. And you can see they're also disappearing there. I'm gonna click on these four here. I'll get rid of that. And sometimes this gets a little wonky. I need to close this and reopen it again and just click on those last two. So that actually worked. Okay, now I'm gonna hide the score marks. I'm gonna bring up the, the, cut, uh, the cut section. Got it highlighted. I'm gonna go to contour and now I'm gonna start contouring this stuff out. So yes, this is a tedious process. Uh, but this is how you can go in and isolate things in design space. That is until Cricut introduces an eraser tool, which would be very simple to do. 
It's, uh, it's common and present in pretty much every other cutting program known to man. Uh, I'm not sure why they haven't done it yet. I think it's just to frustrate us. Okay, but there you can see I got rid of all that. I can turn this back on. Now, wait a minute. What did I just do? Oh, I contoured out the wrong stuff. There we go. Let me get rid of that. There we go. Okay, so that's there. Now I'm going to turn the score lines back on. I have what I want. I can select everything and right click and group. And then I can attach. And if I go to make, I don't need to save it. There it is. It's ready to cut. So uh, while I have you, I also want to show you this is Shortcuts a Lot 6. I'm going to go to New Project. And I'm going to drop that same file. Okay, Elements 1 Snowy White. I can literally just drag and drop it. Here it is on my mat. And let's move this over here, get it off my face. Here is your eraser tool, the tool that we hope Cricut one day will add to Design Space. And I don't need to highlight or hide or contour or anything. I can just literally take it, erase it. And now it's free all by itself. Didn't have to mess with the score lines. I go to File, Export, and I'll call it Fixed. It's not really fixed, just giving it a name, making sure that I have SVG selected, hit save, and then also make sure that design space compatible is checked, click OK. And it created an SVG file that's on my desktop. I'm going to open up design space again so I can show you. Once you're done in, in shortcuts a lot, go back to upload, upload image. I'm dragging the new file that I just created in shortcuts a lot, and there it is. Okay, so you see the difference and everything is already ready to go. You can just hit attach and it's ready to go. So again, um, if we just had an eraser tool in Design Space, it would really make it a lot easier. But if you're looking for a piece of software to complement your Design Space, give it added functionality, uh, what I just did is just the tip of the iceberg uh, of what you can do in Shortcuts a lot. But uh, yeah, it's out there if you need it. So again, just to go over it again, up here in Design Space, you're gonna go under Settings, and you're gonna just change your application experience to beta. Um, I checked, and the beta version is 8.12.83. Eventually, this will be pushed as a live version, I'm sure. The current live version right now, I know this says beta, but it's just a screenshot. Current live version is 8.10.91 where the beta is 8.12.83. So when you set this to beta and hit done, it should come back and give you this version and you should be able to go back to how things were as far as using that contour feature. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that subscribe button and I will see you at the next one. Hey, thanks for crafting along with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, check out some of our other videos and please consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to visit our site and check out our free SVG section where you'll find over 140 free SVG files complete with assembly tutorials. I'll see you in the craft room.